This is the fifth video in our video series on how to build a squat rack in Fusion 360. This video we are going to learn how to create this center base at the top. So if we take a look at this image, you'll notice that the top part looks very similar to the bottom part. In fact, if we open up Amazon, we can actually see that they're essentially the same part. And so we can actually cut a corner here and not have to recreate this part. So let's go back to Fusion. And let's go to our back. And let's go to Move Copy. And make sure you have Component selected. And let's select this bottom component and make sure you select create a copy so that when we start dragging up it keeps the original down here and so we'll drag it up all the way and how far do we need to drag it up and it looks like 79 isn't quite enough but 79 and a half is perfect and that makes sense because we made these heights 77 inches and we made this height two and a half so those added together would be 79 and a half. Then we need to drag it in. And so how far do we drag it in? Let's go in uh, 11 inches and then don't hit OK yet. Go over here to rotate. And select this center circle to be our axis to rotate around. And let's go 90 degrees. And if we look. Uh oh. It looks like we got some sort of gap here and it's not here um, let's go ahead and hit OK and does this exist at the bottom is that gap here no it's it's not in this shape so how did that happen if we look at our back view again it looks like when we extruded this shape we didn't make it as wide as this shape so let's see if we can't fix that. Let's go back in time to that sketch. We'll keep clicking until we find it. It looks like it was this sketch. So we go way back here to sketch 16. And let's edit that sketch. And yes, it looks like the bottom bar goes a little bit wider than this. So when we made our lines collinear with this edge, we actually messed up. And so let's see if we can't fix that real quick. Let's go to create, project, and let's just project this edge on the far right of our bottom face here and the far left over here. Let's get this line as well and hit OK. And so now we have some extra lines projected. Let's grab our line tool and let's extend this line here and extend this line to this projected line over here. Make sure it says zero degrees. If you're having trouble, hit tab and go to zero degrees. Okay, and it looks like I didn't quite get it on our line, so no big deal. I'm just going to go to coincident constraint, select that dot and this edge, and now it's fully constrained on there. I'll go to my line tool and go down here to the other face and do the same thing. Go to this bottom edge and connect these two and go to this bottom edge and connect these two. And so what did I just do? Right click OK. I just made some extra shapes to extrude. And so if I go to finish sketch and go to my home view and I find that extrude that used this sketch right here, right click and go to edit feature. I should be able to add on these extra rectangles that I just drew for myself. I connected it at the front and the back using these projection lines. And so if I go around to the other side, I should be able to do the same thing and hit okay. And it looks like we got all kinds of errors. Um, let's see if we can fix that. And so it looks like the first error was this fillet. And it looks like it completely lost the edges that we were filleting on. And so that should be an easy fix. Let's just reselect the four edges. And type in 7 over 64 again. And then what about this sketch? If I go to review my warning, what does it say? The sketch plane is lost. It's asking me to redefine the sketch plane. And so what that's talking about is when we sketched this, we were on a different plane because, well, if we look, you can see 
it's on the inside instead of the outside. And that actually might be a pretty easy fix. Let's go to finish sketch and then right click on that sketch and let's find redefine sketch plane. And so I wanted to sketch it on this plane that didn't exist before. And so we'll just select this and hit OK. And that solved this sketch. All that did was move that circle, what, 7 64ths of an inch forward. OK. And so then we go to this rectangular pattern and we go to, well, let's review the warning. The model is missing a reference geometry. So let's go to edit feature. And it looks like it's missing an axis. And that makes sense because we moved this over. So this axis didn't exist earlier and there was a different axis over here. And so I just have to select one of these fillets and hit okay. And it looks like that was also solved. And so what about this sketch? If we review our warning, it looks like it was the same thing as before. We lost our sketch plane. We were sketching on a different plane that was 7 64ths of an inch to the left. And so if we right click and go to redefine sketch plane and just select this face and hit OK, it looks like everything is solved. And if we go to our back view now, it looks like this is a perfect square now and these edges align. So perfect. And so the only thing missing now is we don't have holes in our top bars to match the center base bars. That's easy. Let's go ahead and start a new sketch on this plane here. And I'm going to toggle my slice feature so everything can get out of my way. And I'm just going to hit P on my keyboard to project geometry. And I want to select this circle and this circle and hit OK. Hit the home view finish sketch and then all I want to do is extrude this circle and this circle and we want it to cut both directions so go symmetric and just keep going until it goes all the way through we want to make sure we cut through all of these bodies and hit okay and if we check now we can see we've got holes for our bolts so that we can attach this on and so this video ended up being a little bit longer than I expected. We had to fix some geometry from our last video, but all in all, still a pretty short video. Let's go ahead and save our progress and hit OK and see you in the next video.